continuing our analyzation of this object and the surfaces now we focus on surface we've created a surface J that matches up with this edge we drew all these edges out in the top view and it matches up perfectly with this width of line so here's a horizontal line a horizontal line creates a top normal surface when you look at the horizontal line 1 3 C uh, must be horizontal line 11 13 so here is surface C becomes this entire edge in the front view you know here's an intersecting line and becomes a horizontal edge in the side view so top surface uh, creates a horizontal and a horizontal so as he states here these examples show how an object may be partially solved by analysis and reasoning Part of the answer is generated before the object can be visualized. So we're, we're really complete at this point in the pictorial. To finish out our multi-view drawing, or orthographic though, we have to further analyze the surfaces we have generated or that we see in our given views. We can see we have an edge here we haven't done anything with up to this point. And it matches up with this hidden edge all the way across, 14, 15. So normal, horizontal, normal, horizontal should create a normal surface in the top view. It's this wide and this deep. So it would be an edge running all the way across. Using the normal surface and edge charts, it is possible to prove every line and surface on the drawing. This process is essential for creating accurate drawings. Our drawings have to be accurate in their representation. You're telling a story. You're t instructing how to make the part. They will not have the part in their hand, perhaps or the building is not built yet as you might say and they might not have a pictorial to work from you might not have a pictorial so analysis and finding these surfaces uh, is critical and learning that normal surface and edge chart uh, will help you tremendously it does get faster as you do more of them <laughs>